right, coming up on my pocket set from Mink. And uh, looks like we got a coon in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of him and move on down the line. I'm going to show you this uh, this pocket set when I'm done for those of you who have not seen it before. Alright, so this pocket set's remade. You can see the trap pan right there at the entrance, just under the surface. I threw some bait up in the back. For those of you who've never seen a pocket set, you uh, just find a steep spot on the edge of a bank. I like to pick ones with root systems coming in. Dig a pocket back up and in. Throw your bait back up in it. Tie your trap off into the deep so they drown. Um, this set was for mink so typically they don't drag bricks out of the water but uh yeah um, there's a lot of entanglement so the coon aren't going nowhere i make sure that when i set these and the reason i'm catching coon is because my traps at the entrance and i do that just in case mink if they don't commit at least they're at the entrance and they get caught if you set your trap back up in the hole um you know just under the surface of the water You'll still catch me, but I like to make sure I get them when they don't fully commit. So he just pedazzled my set, made it look better. Um, he widened the hole up. I got the bait in the back, so let's take a look at it from over here. So this is looking from back here, and you know, he really made it a good set. So, and you got your root system. Mink love to travel up underneath there and hunt. They come up around this bend, and it's right there, in and out of the water, in and out of the water, bam. And then you got this corner right here. There's a bottom edge set on it. It's a undercut, and uh, it's a good spot. I take a lot of critters right here. Um, for those of you who've never really made a pocket set, that's kind of what I look for. So moving on down the line, we'll see if we caught anything else. No predators today. They didn't come through. My digger didn't come through. I didn't catch any on my other line, so it's unfortunate, but they'll be back. See you on down the line. Well, we're back over here at this, uh, at a feed bed set for high water right here. This is the corner of the bridge, and we got a muskrat floating, so. Not a very big one, but we'll take them. So <clears throat> I got it staked off here in the deep and then they come up right up in here. Now we're getting some rain in, so it's right at the surface. We're not getting a lot, but enough to rise. These rats will be coming up through here. They also come back up through there, but uh, yeah. That's the third rat I've taken from here, so. All right, moving right along. See you down the line. Well, guys, that's it for the day. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. A lot of times uh, when it rains like that and we get high winds, it seems like the predators don't move that well. Um, and also, when it's warm like this, they seem to be able to hunt more. Um, a lot of the you know mice and stuff are active so it doesn't seem like they come in as well as when the weather's cooler so let me know what you guys think on your that's just my experience um hopefully they start picking back up here soon i uh ended up with two muskrats and a raccoon so we didn't get skunked but you know that's the way it goes uh also had a female mink small one go through that tile cubby set that I had set with the 110 she went right between the uh, right between the hair trigger so if it was a big buck he would have been he would have been zapped so that's all right we'll get her next time the uh, female mink a lot of you that probably already know this they their territory is only like one to three miles so they come through more frequently 
males if you've noticed they travel a lot further um, sometimes it takes a week or two for them to come back through so those of you that aren't familiar with the trapping mink uh, be patient they'll be back um, they just travel a lot further so yeah um, that being said hope you guys have a good day thanks for stopping in and I'll see you next time